Today we're doing a direct comparison of Opus Clip versus Munch AI. And I'm gonna get right to the point with this because I respect your time because you should be out there creating content more and more and more. All right, so Opus Clip is the OG of this clip creation game. All you have to do is paste a link in here and it essentially turns your long form video into short form videos, right? I tend to choose the length between 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds. And what I'm gonna do here is a cross comparison of doing this same video generated into short form reels in Opus Clip versus also in Munch AI. So let's choose which captions we want to use here. I'm finished, so let's click on Get Clips. So I put each of these videos in Munch AI, and I also did it in Opus Clip, right? And I gotta say that Opus Clip is a little bit faster. What's a little weird is Munch AI, it'll tell you like it's gonna take like 30 or 40 minutes, but it only takes like eight minutes. And obviously it's gonna depend on how long your video is. If it's a podcast that's an hour long, it's gonna take a minute. But my video was only four and a half minutes long. So let's first check out the results of this video in Munch AI. So let's take a look here. It created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clips. And Opus Clip made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it made two less. But the amount of clips probably isn't a huge deal. It kind of matters of the quality of them, right? So Munch AI, just like Opus Clip, it gives you like scores on what is trending or like a, I think they call it a coherent score. If you want my honest opinion, these little score things, they're not great because how does AI depict how good your video is going to do on social media? All I'm going to say is I publish a ton of content and I have 10 YouTube channels and these scores, they don't mean anything to me. All right, so let's quit blabbing and let's just watch one of these videos, right? Here's the first one. Number nine is this skeleton dragon. What makes this cool is this thing articulates like- Okay, so I gotta say, I really like how Munch AI, it fills the entire reel with the video. I like that. I also like how it's given me the title and the hashtags of what it could use. And I told it to do YouTube shorts, so it's gonna do that. Let's take a look at another one. This is an OG 3D print and it goes way back, but it's still a classic. I find it works. Okay, so I really like this. The captions all look great. I checked them out. It gives me the titles. It, it's a great video. Like, um, and then, by the way, if you guys need some context, this video was about the top 15 cool things to pr 3D print for kids. All right, so now let's check out Opus Clip here. Let's click here, just finally finish here. So let's watch some of these. Let's click play here. Today, I'm gonna give you 15 super fun 3D prints for kids of all ages. Okay, so this looks good, but my first complaint is the video doesn't completely fill the, the vertical reel, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean much because sometimes if it looks like crap, it's not gonna be good. So that's good. All the hook scores and all this stuff, like I told you, I don't personally believe it, it, like it is what it is. I think what you have to do is individually go through all of these clips and just, uh, you're gonna be able to tell which ones are good and which ones aren't. Let's play this one. Okay, this this one is out of like, it's out of line. So what's cool though about Opus Clip and actually Get Munch or Munch AI is you can edit these. So if I, if I go in here and edit this, what I can do here is try to move this specific spot here. What you can do is click on layout and then you can choose to have it fit or to have it split or fours. You can do a ton of stuff here. Now, if I watch this, it, it actually is a better um, turnout here. Now I can increase the size here and have it look a little better. Let's click play now. All right, so it's a little weird. You guys probably need context on that, but um, what's really cool about these editors, guys, is we can change everything. I can go in here and fully edit all the transitions, all the text for the captions. We can add AI B-roll. And to be completely honest with you, both of the tools do all this stuff. So even in uh, Munch AI, it also allows you to do this as well. So if I go in here, I can now add B-roll. I can do silence removal. I can edit all the caption titles, all that stuff. And to be honest with you, um, Munch AI wasn't this good nine months ago. And I think what happened was they're like, hey man, one tool is a lot better than us. We need to do the same things. And who knows? So to give my honest opinion on the comparison of Munch AI versus Opus Clip, I'm gonna have to go with both of these tools. And I know you might think I'm crazy, but paying for both of these tools, they create different reels here. Why not pay for both of them and just double down on content? I know that's probably not the answer you're going to be wanting. They're both really good. The top fins or the dorsal fins become kind of sharp, so just beware. I find that the kids- So some of the key differences between these two tools is I noticed Munch AI, it kind of, it, it does the video vertical to fit the screen more often than not. And also, 
Uh, and again, you can change all of these settings and the editing features, but they are very closely related. Both of these tools are very, very similar now. That wasn't the case nine months ago, but they, they are now. So I think the next biggest thing to break down is pricing, right? And if we look at the pricing here, the pro version for Opus Clip is 29 bucks a month, but you get 300 processing minutes. And if we compare that to Munch AI, it is $23 for 100 minutes, or you can pay $49 for 250 minutes. So Munch is a little bit more, but if we go with the annual plans here, um, we're gonna get 250 minutes for $40 a month versus Opus Clip the yearly. We are going to get 3,600 processing minutes for 1450. You know, Opus Clip actually gives you a really big discount if you pay yearly. It's only fourteen fifty a month, so that's pretty crazy. And again, guys, please, if you're signing up, use my affiliate links in the description. I helped you break this down. I've done probably a dozen videos on these tools. They're a game changer for content creators. So please use my affiliate links in the description, helping out one creator to the another. To another? Is that how you say that? <laughs> so Opus Clip appears to probably be a better deal if you pay, if you pay for it by year. It's a little bit more money, but you're going to save a lot of money. That being said, both these tools are great, and I use both of them, if I'm being honest with you, but I publish a ton of content as well. A little secret tip here before you go, guys. If you can publish one reel every single day for consecutively for as long as you can, that's a secret tip to growing on social media. I promise you, if you can do like three months of publishing consist consecutively, your, your stats are going to do this. All right, guys, hit me up in the comments. What are you thinking? I will see you in the next one. Again, links in the description. Mm.